Hey everybody, how you doing? In this video, we're comparing the 3030 versus the 308 versus the 30 out 6. And as you can see here, we are going to see how many walls of concrete blocks. Somebody's going to say that's a cinder block. You know what I'm saying. How many walls each one of these rounds goes through. Every single one of these is a 150 grain bullet. These are also the 12 inch blocks, not the standard blocks. So they're a little bit bigger than the normal blocks you see around your foundation or what have you. But 150 grain bullets, 30, 30, 308, 30 out six. Let's see what happens. Put down in the comments down below how many walls you think each bullet is gonna go through and which one you think is the winner. I tell you the arguments I always hear. The 3030 guy says, more deer have been taken with the 3030 than any other rifle cartridge. Then the 308 guy says, well, the 308 has less recoil and you can shoot it more accurately at further distances. So I like the 308. Then the 30 out six guy says, well, you can take any animal in North America with a 30 out six because you can put a bigger bullet in it. But all that beside, we're gonna shoot all three calibers, all with a 150 grain bullet against these blocks and see what happens. Let me give you my guess. So what is this? One, two, three. I think that the 30 out six is going to go through four walls and the 3030 and the 308 is gonna go through three walls. That's it. We've got a whole lot more lined up and a pile full of spares in case something happens. But I'm thinking three with the 308 and 3030, four with the 30 out six. It should have a little bit more boogie on it, be going a little bit faster. But let's load up, get to shooting. I'm gonna go 3030, 30, 308, 30 out six. Let's see what happens. The rifles we're using for this video are a Winchester Model 94, 3030, and then two Ruger American rifles, one in the 308 and one in the 30 out six. All right, first shot with the core locked, 30, 30, 150 grain. We got a cool little cloud of smoke there from the 3030. Let's take a closer look and see what happened to the blocks. So, if you look at the front, there is definitely a clean hole through the front wall. That's awesome. That's what I was hoping would happen. So, the question is though, how many walls did it go through? So, one, two, and then it stopped at the third wall. So, the 30-30 round went through one wall, two wall, hit the back, and there's no bullet to be found. If you guessed two walls, you were correct on the 30-30. Let's load up the 308, see what happens. All right, now here goes the 308. Winchester Super X 150 grain. The 308 actually threw some block up and obliterated my GoPro. I'm sure the camera's fine, but I'm gonna put that footage in and just leave it there. We'll see what it looks like. But a lot more massive damage from the 308. Check this out. I put these pans here to help us potentially catch the bullet, but you can see that didn't really help us here because essentially the block got broken up into one two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight pieces. And then the very next block 
looks like the bullet hit there, but not really a dimple. The 308 went through three walls, had a lot more massive shock damage to that block. The 3030 just put two holes for it, and then boop, that was it. The 308, boom, exploded the block and went through one more wall. So let's load up the 30 out six. Let's see what happens with that one. All right, here we go now with the 30 out six Winchester Super X 150 grain. So, as you can see there, something very similar happened with the GoPro, except this time it knocked over the whole ladder kit and caboodle that was holding up the GoPro. But hopefully we'll still be able to have a good shot with the slow-mo on the GoPro. But let's check out what happened here with the 30-06 against the blocks. Walking up to it, you can see there's a missing block, half of it there half of it there and when you go up to the block the next one there's really no markings on it so and remember there's three walls to each block one two three one two three so what happened with the 30 out six something very similar to the 308 massive shock on that first block went through three walls stopped at the fourth no big dents on the fourth but definitely transferred a lot of energy to that first block went through three walls so 30 30 two walls clean holes through the first two walls 308 and 30 out six big massive shock to the first block went through three walls on both of them this was a fun video my guesses were what a little off but let me know if your guesses were right let me know which rifle you prefer, the 30-30, the 308, the 30-06, and why. As always, thanks for watching the videos, guys. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description down below. Follow us on all our social media sites. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys. Hootie Hoo!